Okay. If not, uh, let's move on to the next item, which is uh, a demo. So I've been working on uh, artillery tests, load testing with artillery. Uh, I have a merge request, which is in progress right now. Uh, the link is posted here. Basically, it makes use of uh, of um, of an existing rake task, uh, a rake task that adds some data to whatever environment you uh, point it to, and then uh, that rake task creates a, a, a file with uh, some URLs. The, the, the task that I've added makes use of uh, those URLs and hits, the, hits those endpoints with uh, using artillery. Artillery is basically, art, art, artillery.io is basically uh, a tool using uh, written in node for load testing. So I, ha I have, uh, I'll share my screen here for a moment. Does it give you any nice uh, dashboard with the results? I believe so. I have not uh, run. I have not gone into the report reporting part of it. But uh, until now, I have implemented it uh, using CLI. So on CLI, it in the end it gives you uh, like a, a a report such as this. But I heard Ramya mention that it. Um, there's also a feature for providing like a graphical representation of uh, of the report itself. Okay. I haven't yet, I haven't looked into that yet, but this is what I have right now. Uh, if I look at the test, so even the test I have it very basic right now. So this is this is what I have. Uh, we start. I'm just hitting two. I have just two scenarios where I hit. Uh, a large issue URL in one of the scenarios and the other scenario that I hit, hit a large MR. Um, I have not assigned weights to this scenario, to these scenarios, which means that this, these will be hit like 50% uh, of the time, approximately 50% of the time. Um, then there are phases, as you can see over here. Um, the first phase is for phase uh, stays for 60 seconds seconds and then arrival rate is just one. This is not, um, this is not final yet, I've, uh, but it is good for my local. But for the uh, test bed that we are waiting for to be set up, this will of course uh, be a higher number. Arrival rate of one is just a one user per second. That's, that's not practical for uh, testing load. This is, but, <laughs> but for my local and just for uh, making sure things are working, uh, I've kept it like that. Uh, so the warm-up phase is one per uh, second, and then for the next two uh, two minutes, one twenty seconds, it would be it would uh, start from one and ramp up to fifty per second, and then for the next 50, uh, sixty second, it would stay uh, at fifty uh, at a, an arrival rate of users of uh, fifty per second, and these would be the two scenarios. The URL URLs over here are taken from uh, what the the output of the previous uh, load test. Uh, sorry, the pre uh, previous uh, task to generate the performance test data. I have I'm just using uh, the large issue URL which is generated over here and the large MR. If you can, if, if you look at the rake task. Rick task, there's one task called uh, generate data and run the load test, which is uh, just, you know, running the generate performance uh, data task and the run art artillery load test. Both of them can also be run separately here. So this is still work in progress. Uh, I still have to look at the reports and, and, I, and I think, uh, uh, what, 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 whatever is left here is uh, looking into the graphical user interface of the, the HTML report and, uh, um, and making sure that the test itself is good for um, the test bed. Right now it's, it's it, I mean, it's just um, one user per second is not practical enough for load testing.
And and let me ask you a question, Sarad. The the yep. idea is that we will start running this test at some point, and then we will have the data, and then uh, we will execute in new releases, for instance, and compare if the performance is worse or better than the last execution, right? Yes, we will we will compare the results with the. Uh, the baseline basically the baseline would probably be a previous uh, run mm -hmm. and uh, these tests would be run against uh, a test bed that is uh, currently in, in works we don't have have that yet but yes that's the idea we will will deploy um, i'm not sure each release but I, I i'm not exactly sure how often we will be deploying to that uh, test bed i would say uh, you know every it should be the run should be nightly, uh, like we have in the nightly pipeline, and we should have, uh, you know, the test bed should have the data from every, uh, uh, you know, the latest master every night, every night. So, but yeah. I'm I'm not sure about that. I think it uh, makes sense. We will have to see. Uh, like uh, how much it takes to, to analyze the data and to, to make the comparisons, because like, it seems that part of the job, I, I like that, that's uh, my experience with performance testing. Like, the easiest part is the automation part. The, the hardest is the analysis, right? Mm -hmm. we, uh, we might have uh, to come up with some kind of automation for comparing uh, <coughs> Previous releases, if and yeah. there will be something to show. Yeah. That would help a lot for sure. I I, I saw um, a presentation about performance testing in the front end, where they had uh, automated the analysis part as well, like comparing with the previous date and running the performance test like three times and seeing if mm -hmm. in all of the times they were like uh, uh, below the threshold, and then it was okay if one of the executions was higher than it would like fail the pipeline or something. Okay, did you say you, you read an article or was that a... No, I, I went to a conference, but it was like, uh, um, it was, I, I actually, I think this, uh, this talk is recorded. I will try to find, it's uh, from GoDaddy. It's a library that they open sourced in 2017. Okay. That you can basically integrate your end-to-end uh, -end tests written with Selenium or something like that mm -hmm. uh, to generate performance tests pro for the front end, and then yeah, it would like give you thumbs up or thumbs down in your pipeline depending on the performance in the front. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm also anticipating something like that. Uh, auto, you know, comparing our results automatically and then. Uh, um, giving us an idea about if the latest deploy, if the latest run was uh, better or worse than the previous. Uh... Yeah, the name of the library is Timing. Uh, it's, all, it's published on NPM and they use okay. Elasticsearch and uh, Grafana to display the, the information. And as far as I remember, it was all dockerized so you could have instances of Grafana, Elast Elasticsearch, and and the the service itself that itself that runs the the tests. Okay, uh, it'll be awesome if you can post link to that. Uh, I I will for sure. Okay. Cool. Uh, so yeah, that's that's it from me. I'll stop the sharing.